I'm gonna show you the easiest way you'll ever make French toast. It's the easiest way I make French toast. This went viral and started trending, I believe last year or maybe the year before. It's two ingredient French toast and I'm not talking about garnishes and syrup. It's so easy, here we go. So to start, you need two ingredients and those ingredients would be vanilla ice cream. Use the vanilla ice cream of your choice, but I don't know if you can read this, it's kind of iced over. I like to use a vanilla ice cream that has basically milk, eggs, cream, vanilla, and not too many fillers or preservatives. I think it works best with this recipe. I'm also using thick sliced white bread. Use what you've got. But these two ingredients, it's very tasty. So in a bowl, I'm using a pie dish. I'm going to add probably like a cup of ice cream. For a cup of ice cream melted, you can probably make four slices of French toast with this. And be sure to comment down below, what is your favorite ice cream brand? I was a huge fan of Bluebell ice cream growing up, but I find that these days the ice cream just doesn't taste the same. Maybe because I'm getting older or they change the formula. Um, so this is why I'm going with this brand today. Okay, so I have ice cream in my pie dish, or like I said, use a bowl. Now I'm gonna pop it into the microwave until it's melted, like 30 seconds or so. Here I have a preheated pan. I'm gonna add some butter. And you really don't want this pan to be high, so I'm gonna turn the heat down or lower it. Melt the butter. And as you can see, the butter is kind of sizzling a lot. So that's why I turned the heat down because I am gonna start making French toast. So what I'm going to do is take my slice of bread and I'm just going to dunk it into this melted ice cream. Now it's gonna go into my preheated pan and I'm going to lightly cook this. Well, not lightly. I'm going to cook this gently. You don't want a super high heat in your pan because it'll burn before it really gets that deep golden brown color. It's been almost two minutes. I'm gonna give it a flip and that is perfect. And if you want this to be like that golden brown color, do not cook it on high because there's a lot of sugar in ice cream, so it'll burn. So again, another minute or so on the second side and it's done. And I'm just going to repeat the process for the other slices. Okay, so this is done, and you definitely can garnish how you prefer. If you want maple syrup, I like hot buttered syrup sometimes, but I actually find even without the syrup, it's sweet enough with the ice cream. So I'm just gonna garnish it with this fresh strawberry. Sometimes I like blueberries and banana. Again, it's up to you. And I am going to sprinkle on ground cinnamon, just a light sprinkling. And just like that, this is so good. Like I said, hot buttered syrup is also a choice. I find that I do not need powdered sugar because I, I think it's sweet enough, but it really is up to you. So now I'm digging in and this is just breakfast for me. I don't know what anybody else is gonna eat. And if they want French toast like this, they can make it themselves because it's super easy. But the early bird catches the worm and I'm up early. And I so deserve this. So I hope you give this recipe a try. I hope you like it. And thanks for watching.